The military helicopter earned its wings over the Korean Peninsula during the Korean War on 1950-1953, but saw its greatest evolution through experimentation occurring during the 1920s and 1930s. Focke Wolf, the German company arranged in 1936 and best remembered for its Focke Wolf 190 fighter contribution to the Luftwaffe campaigns of World War II on 1939 to 1945. It began the work in 1930s on a helicopter design which went on to become the practical Focke Wolf 61. This helicopter achieved its first flight on June 26, 1936 and two examples were completed. Interested in the concept of vertical flight for military service, the German Air Ministry commissioned Focke Wolf to develop an improved form from this approach and for this work ahead. The Focke Achilles company was established between Focke Wolf co-founder Henry Focke and German aviator Gerd Achilles. Beginning in 1938, the pair headed the development of the new helicopter and the initial model became a six-passenger transport powered by BMW equipment known as the Odyssey or Hornet 226. This aircraft was ordered by Lufthansa for commercial service and garnered the interest of the German military to become the Drasha 223 or Dragon. A series of five designated prototypes then followed with the first completed by the fall of 1939 to open the critical testing phase. However, continuing development problems ensured that the first flight was not recorded until August 1940. The helicopter proved a promising design when it reached a speed of 113 miles per hour and an altitude of 23,300 feet in testing. In its finalized form, the Dragon 223 held an unconventional arrangement by helicopter standards of today. It utilized a teardrop-shaped fuselage which was heavily glazed at the nose and tapered towards the tail. A tricycle-wheeled undercarriage was fitted which seemed like a modern quality, though the legs were fixed under the main forward mass of the aircraft. The rotors were held outboard along a tube work assembly with a single engine held in the fuselage, driving the three-bladed rotor assemblies by way of shafts. The empennage included a single vertical tail fin capped by a high-mounted horizontal plane. BMW supplied the engine Brahmo 323D and gearbox for the helicopter as it did for the previous Focke Wolf 61 design. Despite the inclusion of the engine within the body of the aircraft, the room was reserved for a cargo hold as well as for the cockpit, fuel stores, and equipment. With Germany fully embroiled in the war, the development of the Dragon 223 continued. However, the program experienced a setback when V-1 was lost in February 1941 accident and V-2 was destroyed in an Allied bombing raid. To push the program ahead, V-3 was selected as a pre-production design to mimic what would become the production quality Dragon 223E, complete with dual controls for the pilot and co-pilot. This control scheme would also serve well in basic training of the machine for Luftwaffe helicopter pilots to come. As such, more mission equipment was installed on this mark than in the previous offerings, but the proven qualities of the preceding V aircraft were brought along in the V-3. Serial production of V-3 was started in 1942. With the Allied air campaign coming into its own, the German war machine suffered mightily with each advancing month and programs like the Dragon 223 were severely disrupted as a result. The Dragon 223 plant at Delmenhorst was destroyed in a June 1942 bombing raid and forced the production lines to relocate at Lauheim for 1943. This also allowed development to continue and progress showcased an aerial system with lift power akin to a medium-class hauler today. In early 1944, two prototype of Dragon 223 series were successfully used in the recovery of a downed Dornier aircraft along a mountainside, further promoting the capabilities of the machines and vertical flight in general.
Several helicopters were then set aside for training in mountain warfare tasks because of this exercise. In July of 1944, yet another Allied bombing sortie stopped Dragon 223 production which delayed further work until lines were re-established in Berlin where better protection from air attack could be had. 1944 had become a turning point in the war for the Allies which placed the German war initiative into sheer desperation during the early part of 1945. Measures were taken to keep the aircraft from falling into enemy hands during the Allied advance on Berlin, but some examples were overtaken during the German retreat. At least two fell to the United States Army and were dissected at length. The war in Europe was over in May of 1945, and attention then turned to the Pacific Theater and the Japanese Empire. A Dragon 223 prototype V-14 was flown from Cherbourg in France to Beaulieu in England in September of 1945, marking the first helicopter crossing of the English Channel in aviation history. The Dragon 223 certainly had the potential to make a wartime impression had the program gestated longer than it was allowed to. The Luftwaffe and Kriegsmarine both saw a multi-role-minded platform and several prominent variants were initially entertained. Dragon 223A was to serve in the anti-submarine warfare or ASW role while carrying either 2 by 550 pound bombs or a pair of depth charges. Dragon 223B was to be a reconnaissance-minded mount with additional fuel stores aboard for improved ranges. Dragon 223C was to be a dedicated search and rescue platform outfitted with a winch system. Dragon 223D was envisioned as a dedicated cargo hauler for a mountain service. Dragon 223E was to represent the dual control trainer variant. The Dragon 223E became a multi-purpose helicopter. To accelerate the test of various modifications, it was simultaneously fitted with bomb racks, an electric winch with an escape pod, dual control, and equipment for installing an external fuel tank. The fuselage of a trust structure made of steel pipes was clad with plywood. The engine compartment was closed with duralumin sheets. The cockpit was fully glazed and looked like a polygon. The pilot sat to the left with a folding observer's chair in front and to the right. The cargo compartment with a door on the starboard side housed a winch and a 490-liter fuel tank. Two pyramidal trusses were attached to the fuselage to position two non-overlapping propellers turning in different directions. Viewed from above, the left propeller went counterclockwise and the right one counterclockwise. Three blade propellers with a diameter of 12 meters were mounted on the heads. Each unit consisted of a reducer, an emergency device for switching the propeller to auto-rotation in case of an engine shutdown or transmission jamming, a propeller hub, an automatic tilt mechanism that changed the differential pitch only in the longitudinal plane, and a mechanism for changing the total pitch of the propeller. Several modifications of the 9-cylinder air-cooled radial engine BMW Bramo Fafner 323 could be installed on the helicopter. The main rotor blades had steel spar made from a tapered all-steel tube. Wooden ribs were attached to the spar and glued steel clamps, which did not require drilling of the spar and increase its strength. Steering was carried out by a normal aircraft-type handle, pedals, which were also connected to the wheel brakes and a collective pitch lever. In the autumn of 1944, two Dragon 223E series were tested as transport in the mountains. At the military school in Midgelwald near Innsbruck, 83 takeoffs and landings were made at altitudes ranging from 99 to 2,000 meters, where it was impossible to land. The helicopter hovered, lowered the load to the ground on a cable, and disengaged the lock. A light mountain gun and soldiers were carried. 
The Ministry of Aviation gave the Foco Achilles a site at Temple Health Airport in Berlin for the production of the kites and issued an order for the production of the Dragon 223 at a rate of 400 vehicles per month. However, at the end of 1944, this was unrealistic. The most distinct proposed product of the entire Dragon 223 line was to become the Dragon 223Z, mating two Dragon 223 helicopters to become a four-rotor heavy lift system. This product was only partially finished before Ochsenhausen in southern Germany. The Dragon 223 only saw formal operational service with Transport Squadron 40 of the German Luftwaffe during World War II. The 223 saw a short-lived post-war service life with both France and Czechoslovakia. The French Air Force operated one example under the Sudist 3000 designation with assembly by Sudist. Czechoslovakia took on two examples and knew them as VR-1 with assembly by Avia. This operated until 1946 as far as is known.